Yesterday, Mr. Speaker, I stressed the importance of having referenda related to raising the PST and the implications for a future referendum on hydro. Uh, it's obvious from their announcement today that my concerns are shared by the opposition. Last week, I asked the Premier to table the list of new infrastructure on which he plans to spend the money brought in by the NDP's 1 percent increase in the PST. Premier replied his government will spend $1.8 billion on capital this year versus $1.4 billion last year. The budget category the Premier is talking about is spending on is listed as tangible capital assets, which by definition can include spending on computers and vehicles. I asked the Premier, will he be spending money coming from the 1 percent PSD hike on computers and vehicles? Speaker, the money that will be raised through additional revenue will be spent on roads, it will be spent on hospitals, it will be spent on personal care homes. It'll, in particular, it will be devoted towards additional flood protection in the province of Manitoba. It will be spent on those items that Manitobans have told us are a priority, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I take that to mean the Premier won't spend that money on computers and vehicles. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it appears that the NDP have carefully and strategically hidden information which the public needs to have clarity on where exactly all of the new infrastructure money will go. The opposition, the public, and some members of the media raise continued concerns about the NB NDP's transparency in budget matters in this respect. I, I ask the Premier, will he simply table a list of the infrastructure that the NDP have budgeted for this year through their 1 percent increase in the PST. Our uh, we will, legislation we've already tabled, the Manitoba Building and Renewal Plan Act, will identify a 10-year program of rebuilding the province and renewing the infrastructure in Manitoba. That 10-year program, at the end of which the PST will then be reduced by 1 percent. During that 10 years, we'll match up the federal money that's coming forward over the next 10 years announced in the federal budget. We will jointly agree on a variety of projects that we will to do together. Those projects will be announced in due course. We will, in this budget, make very significant investments in schools. We will make very significant investments in health care. We will make very significant investments in roads, all of which will be completely reported to the legislature and the public through announcements. Members opposite will have every opportunity through estimates to ask questions about that, as they always do. This plan will report to the legislature every single year on what we've invested Order, the money. Order, please. First Minister's time has expired. Mr. Speaker, the budget should tell us what you're going to spend the money on this year. Why doesn't it? The information the public is demanding is actually well hidden in your budget documents, which is why there's so much confusion, Mr. Speaker, about what the NDP are doing. You know, I note, for example, that the category he refers to in the budget, which includes tangible capital assets, includes those purchased by Crown corporations, like the Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries Corporation. I ask the Premier, will his list of infrastructure include par cars purchased and buildings built by the Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries Corporation? Or will his list be based on core government real infrastructure spending? Mr. Speaker, the member from River Heights and I this morning were at Queenston School where we announced right. the Community Places Program, $2.9 million. 241 projects all across Manitoba, many of which will leverage additional dollars raised by the excellent volunteers in the community, including at uh, Queenston School. Many will be matched by other levels of government that want things to happen in their communities. We will be building gyms. We will be making those gymnasiums available for community use. We will be building community clubs and skating rinks. We will be doing very practical things that improve the quality of life in our communities, give places for young people to be after school, ensure that they are usefully using their time, getting mentorship, getting support. That's just one concrete example. 2.9 million, 241 projects all across Manitoba. The list is fully announced today, available to all the members. We will make announcements on roads. All the announcements Order, will come out. First Minister's time has expired.